Good evening and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad and today I'm going to be doing... Oh, can't break my glass. Uh, this is Beretta Brewing Co. Uh, Fistful of Green Triple IPA at 10%. All that is on the front. Um, I've done a couple of Berettas before and by a couple I mean I've done one video comparing two beers. Both of them were 8% New Zealand um, Double Dry Hop IPA or New England, one or the other. Uh, New England, um, double dry hopped, double IPAs. Um, and from that, I thought they tasted pretty much the same. Maybe a slight difference, but not too noticeable. Um, so this is technically the second Beretta video I'm doing, but um, I remember liking them, so hopefully I like this. Like I said, this one's a tipper, um, or a triple IPA if you want to be on the, you know, proper about it. Uh, there's no guff on this um, at all. It's just ingredients. Um, Beretta are out of somewhere. I don't know. It doesn't say. But apparently this is a special brew. It says that there. And it also says, recycle or we all die. Right there. Um, like I said, I don't know where they are because it's not in English and I am an ignorant English person and haven't took up a second language. So I can't tell you where they're from. But I will tell you, that can art is lovely. I like that. It's just, it's not too over the top, but it's not simple. It's sort of in the middle and I really like that. Um, sort of statue blended with paints and stuff. It looks nice. I like it. I'm not an art expert, so I can't, you know, my opinion is not fact or anything, I just like it. So, um, I'm trying to think, I got it out of Priest Town um, for four or five pounds, I can't remember. Um, yeah, I can't remember how much I got it for, it's like four or five pounds for a tipper. Tends to be really good. It's like really cheap because tippers and stuff like that from where I buy my beers from are like seven, eight, nine pounds. And getting one for four or five pounds is basically half price. So can't complain. But anyway, let's crack it open, shall we? And see what we've got. Right, this is a little bit of a can, so I'll pull that in a sec. Uh, no floaters, we've got ourselves a nice dark orange, almost copper colour. Um, camera makes it a bit darker than it is. It's slightly um, lighter in shade, but it's not too much noticeable from the camera. Um, the head, for me, from what I can see, the camera, again, it's it's the camera's different. But what I can see is a slightly ivory coloured head, uh, nice compact bubbles, but that is bit, that's basically or dark orange copper looking beer. It looks, to be fair, from this, it does look quite thick and juicy. Um, I've not had this one before, so I don't know, but it does look juicy and heavy bodied. So let's get a smell, shall we? See what we get. There's a little bit of fruit in the smell, but there's nothing too uh, predominant. A um, bit of mango. A little bit of peach. A little bit of grapefruit, but like I said, nothing too in your face. A lot of smell, a lot of fruit. I can't really get much in the way of smell, so I'm going to have to rely on my taste. Um, but let's get a mouthful for Bloody and Carp, shall we? Carbonation, almost non-existent. It's very, very light. That body is a medium, medium heavy sort of in between the two. That is, so far, so good. 
There's still more in the can. Dodgy pouring today. Um, oh, there's a couple. When I say a couple, I do mean floater, like one floater. So, if you're not a fan of floaters, um, I'd right up your alley. Let's give a big old taste, shall we? Cheers. Ten percent. It's not hidden, but it's not in your face. It's there. You can feel it when you drink it. Um, it covers the palate, gets the cheeks. Doesn't get the throat, but it gets the cheeks and it covers the palate. Um, Flavour-wise, you've got mangoes, pineapple, grapefruit. That's that's quite nice. A little bit of caramel or burnt sugar. It's also not not a strong flavour, but it's there. Um, slightly noticeable, if you get what I mean. It's an under note, or it's so it, it slides under if you're not looking for it. But if you look for it and you can, you know, what it tastes like you can pick it up a little bit. Pour the last little bit in. Um. But yeah, that is, that's really nice though. Mm. It's got a dry, bitter, not bitter, but almost bitter finish to it. It's, you drink it, you've got the, all the flavours that I mentioned. You've got your booze, that covers the palate, gets the cheeks. Um, and then as that's gone, it sort of like leaves your, your mouth dry and sort of wanting more, which I think is good. But for a tipper, mm, it just kind of makes me want to go mouthful after mouthful. And I don't want to because it's 10%. And I'm not that stupid that I'll drink it all in 5-10 minutes. But it kind of leaves you wanting more, which is good because I always want more. Don't get me wrong. More beer is lovely. Um, but yeah, I think this is a let me get the can. Gorgeous little beer. Um, yeah, there's. If anyone knows where that is, if my camera focuses. Come on, camera. sort of duck out there you go if anyone knows what that is uh let me know because i actually don't i can't read any other language like i said i'm an ignorant english person so i didn't take up second language i think it's i want to say french but it might be spanish it's one of the two i'm not sure polish maybe okay. maybe polish i'm not sure um me. Anyway, I'm gonna go and enjoy this. Pardon me. That's the carbonation from the last beer coming up. Anyway, um, like I said, I'm gonna go away and enjoy this beer because 10% should not be drank on camera. Um, because it's 10%, it's you know, double figures. So if you've had this beer, Beretta's Fistful of Green Triple IPA. Uh, please let me know. Let me know what you think. It is a special brew, so I don't think they're doing this anymore, but they might if you look on the website. Uh, I know Priestown still has a few of these. By a few, I mean a full shelf full of them. They're not selling. So just go in and buy them, like half price, basically. It's it's a bargain. Um, so, yeah, if you've had one of these, please let me know. Let me know what you think. I'll put it on the girl podium. Um, if you like it, let me know. You know, uh, let me know what you think. Um, if I missed any flavours or if you can get any other flavours that I can't, let me know. Because I always like reading comments and trying to get more flavours. Uh, if you've not had it, I'll leave the Bretta website down below. But they're not English, so if you want to get one from their website, you might be waiting for a little bit. Especially with the whole Brexit deals and stuff. You'll be waiting for ages, so just 
Preston's probably easier. Um, so yeah, if you've not had one, I'll leave the link down below anyway, in case anything catches your eye. But if you just want this, it's probably easy to go on Preston and Priest Town. Um, if you like the video, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so, because the show must go on, etc, etc, so on and so forth. And I'll see you later. Bye.